G'day guys, welcome to Tassie Bushranger. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the kit I carry when I go hunting. So we recently just had stag season and the start of doe season here in Tasmania. Uh, and unfortunately I only got out for one weekend due to other life commitments. Uh, that's the way it goes though. Um, and I only got myself one doe, but between the three of us we had five. So uh, yeah, still got a fair bit of meat in the freezer. I'd planned on sort of filming the whole experience for you guys, however, the way it went, obviously I'm pretty new with camera and I am pretty new at hunting too, so hunting took priority and I just didn't get any great footage, so I decided not to bore you guys with that, I'll just throw maybe a little bit in the end of this video for you to have a look at, uh, but yeah, instead I'm going to talk about the kit I carry when I go out hunting, so just a quick uh, idea on the situation I'm in. So we have a base camp set and then we have our vehicle. Uh, we're on a big hunting property. So we go with the vehicle and then we're walking out from there. So uh, we're never too far from the car and never really that far from camp either. So I have obviously my actual sleep kit and everything is at camp and uh, my main cook kit. And then I've got extra water and that in the car as well. Um, and yeah, this is then what I carry in with me. So first off, I'm going to just go through the few things I carry on body, and then we'll look at my uh, pack. So obviously, I carry a belt knife. This is a custom knife made by a guy in Queensland. I plan on doing a full review on that shortly. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice knife, obviously a bigger size, more of a survival knife, as they say. And uh, as much as my brother-in-law gives me a lot of grief for it, I really try not to use this. It's more so I've got a nice size sharp knife in an emergency situation. Uh, and yeah, I try to keep it nice and sharp by not using it too much when in the field. And then I also carry a lighter around my neck. That way I've always got the option of making fire with me. This one's uh, just in a little crocodile leather pouch there. And then obviously I also have my rifle. So this is the Hauer model 1500 in a 308 calibre with a Leopold scope on it. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with firearms as I think I've mentioned in past videos. I've only been hunting the last few years. Uh, so I've only used one other 308. So I really can't do a full review on that at the minute. And uh, yeah, tell you whether it's better than everything else, but I will just quickly say it is on the cheaper end of the scale. I haven't had trouble with it. Um, it's doing the job well for me, and I quite like it. But yeah, that's why you won't see a full review of it on my channel because I just feel like I'm not the most experienced person with firearms to uh, be telling you that. But obviously, give them a search, and uh, yeah, more experienced people will give you their full opinion on them. Uh, the other thing I carry on my body is my radio. Normally have that round my neck. However, I've left that at my father-in-law, so I don't have that on me. Uh, but yeah, it's just really a, a cheap radio so I can contact um, the other party members when we're out hunting, make sure uh, going in the right direction, not shooting towards each other and all that. Uh, and the other thing is, this jumper, which I'm laying everything on, just a real thin uh, fleece camo. I carry that round my waist usually. When I'm walking, it's too hot to be wearing that usually. However, it just means I've got a layer for if I'm uh, stopping, sitting for a while, if the weather turns real bad. So yeah, that's what I carry on person, and uh, now we'll have a look at the pack. Alright guys, so the pack I've been using for hunting is this here, just a belt bag, a bum bag if you will. Uh, this is from 3V Gear, it's off their Paradis pack, and it's called the Rapid Deployment Pack. Uh, you can buy it separately or as part of the Paradis, and uh, yeah, so just wraps around my waist and uh, on the front of that I put my first aid kit on the front there so it does come away from the body quite a bit and end up taking up a bit of space but uh, big reason I've gone with this instead of a big shoulder bag is just that I don't have the bag straps getting in the way of uh, my rifle resting and uh, yeah it's just it's that bit smaller and it sits on your hips nicely so you're not noticing the weight, and there's not a lot of weight there anyway, really. Um, so I'm going to go through the contents. I'm not going to go into real big detail on any of these items, because I don't want to drag this out forever. 
But uh, if you've got any questions about individual items, chuck us a comment. Uh, in the description below, there'll be all the links to my social media. And uh, yeah, so jump in there and ask me any questions you may have. The first thing I'm going to start with is something that I'm going to change and I've done differently in the past. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go back to that. And that is the water I'm carrying is just one bottle. Uh, I've got a Gatorade here, but normally uh, I'd actually have a different bottle with a smaller top so that the um, Sawyer Mini filter can go on it. But this is what I had at home, same sort of size, so it fits nicely in the top there. Um, but the trouble is, as you can see, as a full drink, it shakes around. Very minimal sound, but as soon as I've started drinking it, It's now got some air in there. So that's walking around, sitting on uh, my back. As I'm walking, it's making a fair bloody bit of noise and when you're trying to be silent in the bush, you really notice uh, yeah, the noise of that. And so yeah, then you sort of feel like you want to drink your whole bottle so that it's not making a noise. And then obviously you've got no water left. So, the other option there, uh, which is what I did when we went hunting in Victoria, was having just a real small hydration backpack. It's only got these real thin straps, uh, as you can see, so they're not really getting in the way of the gun. Um, and I can fit my 3 litre hydration pack in there, which means I'm carrying a lot more water as well. And uh, the good thing, also my jumper which would normally uh, be around my waist can actually go in the backpack on top of the hydration pack and uh, yeah the hydration bladder as you drink the water it just shrinks so it's not swooshing around like a drink bottle and I can also fit my first aid in this little front pouch there which means it's just not sticking right out the back of me so I'm actually going to go back to doing that options real small backpack on the back there and um, then just this without the first aid pack on uh, my hips there. So uh, yeah, that's the change I'm going to make. Now I'll just run through this gear. So first aid, I'm not going to go through all the details, but sort of the big things in here. A quick clot, in case, God forbid, someone gets shot. Uh, and two compression bandages, which can also help in that situation. But also snake bites. Uh, we've got some tiger snakes and copperheads here in Tasmania. Pretty dangerous snakes, so you want those compression bandages and um, also the emergency uh, reflective tarp is in there too in case I end up stuck out overnight and everything else is sort of smaller scale first aid which um, you can probably survive without but is nice to have alright guys so as I said rapid deployment pack from 3V gear uh, let's have a look inside at the gear I carry so we've got the big main pocket here and that currently has my water bottle in it, which I will be changing up. And underneath that is my Schmarg, which is from 3V Gear. You can see their logo all over it there. Uh, now, I use that as an extra layer of warmth, and uh, if I do get stuck out overnight, it's uh, that warmth that could potentially save my life and uh, as I'm sure you'll know it can also be used for filtering water as a sling in first aid um, and all sorts of things so really handy uh, versatile thing to carry and that's all that goes in that big front uh, middle pocket there sorry then at the front here I carry a folder there from Sherard um, it's a pretty cheap blade which came in a prepper's gearbox that I used to be subscribed to. Um, and yeah, this is now what I use as my skinning knife. It's certainly doing the trick. Um, yeah, one day I'd love to get a knife with a gut hook, nice uh, fixed blade gutting and skinning knife, but currently that's what I've got and so that's what I'm using. Then we've got the Sawyer Mini filter. Obviously filter water with that. Um, I'll throw up the link to my Tassie Quick Tip which um, goes into more detail on that. 
And then I've got some cordage. I've just got some real cheap twine. I like to carry that because um, I don't care about cutting it up and really using it. Whereas my good paracord, I um, like to keep that as a nice long length and um, yeah, I only really use it if I need it. Then I've just got a little whistle in case I get separated from the group or um, you know, my radio's battery's dead. Um, I need to get someone's attention. Then I've got a nice big ferro rod. I love this one. It's got a nice size handle there to hold and then a decent thickness and decent length and uh, a good striker. And yeah, you just get some real good sparks off that one. So uh, that's currently my favorite ferro rod to use. And lastly, in that front pouch, I've got a whole heap of uh, small zip ties. And the reason I have these as bright red is because I use them for marking trails or locations I want to come back to and things. Uh, so obviously the red stands out and uh, the bright green stands out too, but obviously in the bush where everything else is green, not so much. Uh, but I just got a few of those as well. So yeah, good for marking your tracks and also every other handy reason to have zip ties. So that's my front pouch. Then on this side here, on the top, always on the top, no matter what setup I'm using, is a torch. So it's easy to get to if uh, I'm taking a bit longer to get out of the bush than I planned to get back to the vehicle. Then I've got my light. Uh, this is the Black Diamond Storm. Great head torch. I really love it and I'll be doing a full review on that shortly. Um, and then under that in here is just some thin gloves. So they're uh, water resistant, wind resistant and just a little bit warm. So they're great when you're heading out first thing in the morning just to keep that bitterness out of your fingers. And uh, yeah, obviously being camo and they've got the holes for my trigger finger. So they're a bit of a luxury item really, but they're handy. And again, if I get stuck out overnight, every little bit of warmth is going to make a huge difference. And then this other side is my main fire kit. Uh, this container's seen better days. It's missing a whole side here and the hinge is all held together by tape. But I'm still using this container just because it keeps it all together as a kit and uh, still keeps it pretty dry and secure. Uh, so in there I've just got another Bic lighter. So I've got my one round my neck and then I've got this one in my kit. A small little ferro rod, which I'd much rather use this, but in case I end up with just this, there's another ferro rod in there. And then uh, there's a few tampons, bit of cardboard um, and bark and paper. So just that dry tin kindling to get your fire started in an emergency. And then the bottom squeezed in under there, I've just got a little bit more cord because you never know when that's going to come in handy. And uh, yeah, that's literally all that's in the kit, guys. So it's a pretty lightweight kit, but I think it's got everything I need. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I haven't gone into any real detail in any of this gear because uh, I didn't want the video to drag out too long. But if you've got any comments or you want to see full reviews on anything, then uh, just let me know either in the comments below or as always in the description there's the links to all my social media where you can contact me. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want more information or anything. If you think there's something I should be carrying that I'm not or vice versa, you think I'm wasting space and weight uh, with any of the things I am carrying. So yeah, start a conversation around it as always. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I hope you've gained something from this video. It's given you some ideas and I'll see you in the next video.